Good afternoon. I'm Mike Peterson with the latest from the KMA Newsroom on this Thursday afternoon. Shenandoah Mayor Roger McQueen hopes residents continue their due diligence on water usage. Earlier this week, the Shenandoah City Council unanimously approved implementing Stage 4 water conservation levels because of continued low levels in the city's wells. McQueen tells KMA News Stage 4 aims at restrictions for high-end users rather than for residential customers. Speaking on KMA's Morning Line program earlier this week, McQueen says Stage 4 requires residents to continue conserving H2O. Uh, you know, we're putting things in place to make sure that we can conserve I think the citizens have done a great job. I appreciate everything they've done. Uh, you know, we're, we're, we're not out of water. We're not going to be limiting people on when they can take a bath or whatever. Uh, but we just have to continue to conserve. Elsewhere, Glenwood officials are back to proposal to improve a creek bed near Glenwood Middle School. During its regular meeting earlier this week, the Glenwood City Council unanimously approved the bid from Kerms Excavating out of Plattsmouth, for over $183,000 for the Fairview Creek Stabilization Project, including the creek portion between Fairview Drive and the middle school. Amber Farnan is Glenwood City Administrator. Farnan tells KMA News the proposal covers an extensive list of improvements after a neighboring resident raised concerns about the quality and safety of the creek. Red Oak School officials are looking into offering an online blended learning program. Meeting in regular session Wednesday evening, the Red Oak School Board discussed the potential program with Superintendent Ron Lorenz and other administrative team members, which would serve the district's non-traditional students. Lorenz's new open enrollment laws, allowing students to enroll out of the district at any time of the year, plus a growing number of online courses in other districts, have led to some students leaving their district. And Cass County officials continue to looking at ways to financially assist the child care industry. During its regular meeting this week, the Cass County Board of Supervisors discussed the role the county could play in subsidizing child care operating budgets and the impact child care can have on economic development. KMA on track weather, mostly cloudy today, highs of the upper 60s. Tonight, mostly cloudy, then becoming mostly clear, lows in the lower 30s. More news at 5.05 and 6.05 this evening and online at kmaland.com. Have yourself a good rest of your Thursday. Mike Peterson, so long, my friend.